every personnel playing a part in the ark project with the spirit of wisdom for excellent delivery the spirit of wisdom upon every personnel from the supervisors to the engineers to all the artisans everyone involved from the beginning to the end the spirit of wisdom for excellent delivery for excellent delivery father in the name of jesus we pray baptize every personnel playing a part in the ark project with the spirit of wisdom for excellent delivery with the spirit of wisdom for excellent delivery father in the name of jesus baptize every personnel playing a part in the ark project with the spirit of wisdom for excellent delivery. Lift up your hand, give him thanks, celebrate him, give him praise. He has answered us already. To him be all the glory in the name of Jesus. Please have your Still excited? Put your big, big hands together for the Lord. Yeah. In the words of our father, the apostle of this great commission, he says, every event is invented. On this day of great inventions, our third scripture reading is taken from Zechariah chapter 4, verse 1 to 6. And I read, it said, And the angel that talked with me came again, and waked me as a man is wakened out of his sleep, and said unto me, What seest thou? And I said, I have looked, and behold, a candlestick all of gold, with a bowl upon the top of it, and the seven lamps thereon, and seven pipes to the seven lamps, which are upon the top thereof. Verse 3. And the two olive trees by it, up one upon the right side of the bowl, and the other upon the left side thereof. So I answered and spake to the angel that talked with me, saying, What are these, my Lord? Then the angel that talked with me answered and said unto me, Knowest thou not what this be? And I said, No, my Lord. Verse 6. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord. Unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Put your big hands together for the Lord. Let somebody shout the loudest hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Suddenly we shall all be rising up to pray. And this time around we shall be praying saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, via this prophetic groundbreaking, take over the entirety of this project for his free delivery. That amen can be louder. The book of Psalms, chapter 127 and verse 1. The Bible says, Except the Lord build the house, the labor in vain that build it, and except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. Please rise up on your feet right now with excitement, with joy, with gratitude. Lift up your voice. We are praying, say, Father, in the name of Jesus the Christ, via this prophetic grand breaking, take over, take over, take over. Someone is praying. Let heaven hear your voice. Don't look around. Maintain focus. Pray in faith. We are praying, say, Father, in the name of Jesus the Christ, via this prophetic groundbreaking, take over. Father, take over. Lord, take over. Take over the entirety of this project for his free delivery. For his free delivery. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Oh, God, we call upon you today. You are the Alpha Father. You are also the Omega. In the name of Jesus the Christ, via this prophetic groundbreaking, take over, O oh Lord, the entirety of this project for his free delivery. Take over, Lord, the entirety of this project for his free delivery. Father, take over the entirety of this project for his free delivery in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we call upon you right now. We are asking in the name of Jesus the Christ, because except the Lord build a house, they labor in vain, they build it. Except the Lord keep the city, 
the watchman waited but in vain. Therefore, we call upon you this day on this groundbreaking day of the Ark Project. Father, take over. Father, take over. Lord, take over. Jesus, take over. In the name of Jesus the Christ, someone is praying. Cry aloud unto God. Let heaven hear you right now. Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. Maintain focus. Pray in your understanding. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Make investment. Let heaven hear you right now. We are praying, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we call upon you via this prophetic groundbreaking today of the Ark Project. Take over. Father, take over. Father, take over. Oh, Lord, take over the entirety of this project for his free delivery. Oh, God, take over. Father, take over. In the name of Jesus Christ, we hand it over to you. Take over this project. Father, take over this project for his free delivery. In the name of Jesus Christ, we call upon you, Father, via this prophetic groundbreaking today of the Ark Project. Take over. Father, take over. Father, take over. Father, take over. Father, take over. Because I Except you build a house, the liberal labor in vain. Father, therefore, we hand it over to you from the beginning that you will take over, take over this project for his free delivery in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone is praying. Pray some more. Pray your understanding. Pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Let your heart be speaking unto God as you call upon him in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, on this groundbreaking day, we call upon you right now, and we are asking that you will take over this project, that you will take over this project, that you will take over the entirety of this project from this first day to the last day in the name of Jesus Christ for his free delivery, for his free delivery in the name of Jesus. Father, take over. Father, take over. In the name of Jesus Christ, we call upon you right now. You are the Alpha. Therefore, take over via this groundbreaking prophetic Lord of the Ark Project. We are asking that you take over this project and the entirety of it from the beginning to the end for his free delivery in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, take over. Father, take over. Father, take over via the prophetic groundbreaking. Lord, take over the entirety of this project. We hand it over to you for history delivery in the name of Jesus Christ, for speedy delivery in the name of Jesus Christ. We hand it over to you from the beginning, Lord, for history delivery to the glory and praise of your name in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice, somebody. Lift up your hands right now. Begin to thank God for answer prayers. Give him praise. Give him glory. Magnify him. Father, we thank you for answer prayers. It is done. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. That amen can be louder. Please put your hands together for the Lord and please be seated. If that hand is for Jesus, will you make it louder? Somebody rejoice in the Lord. I'm sure you can make it bigger, you can make it better. Amen. Now before I go far, if you look at the scriptures in Ezra chapter 3, verses 10 and 11, the day the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid, not the end of it. The day the foundation was laid, there was great joy and rejoicing. Amen. They sang together by cause and praising and giving thanks unto the Lord, saying, The Lord is good and his mercies endure it forever. And all the people shouted with a great shout when they praised the Lord because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. Will somebody therefore join me again just in a few more seconds? A big shout, a big clap. A big rejoicing. Somebody rejoice in the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Please get seated. What a day of joy. On the behalf of God's servant, the apostle over this commission, our spiritual father, 
Bishop David Oedipo. I count it a privilege and honor to welcome every one of us to this grand breaking of the Ark Project. <laughs> Amen. All of us who are watching this prophetic service live, we welcome you very specially. And we know that, that the foundation is laid today. God is laying a foundation for someone's life and family. I'm sure that person would like to say a bigger amen. We'd like to quickly, before God's servant will come up to give us the word of the Lord for the hour, draw a very clear purpose for our being here today. Like I said some time ago, when you lack definition, you suffer deviation. Why are we here today? And what are we doing at this point? At this point, we'd like to quickly present to this holy assembly of the Lord how the project of the ark came to be. The ark is what is being called as delivered to his servant. A house of safety. A house of protection. A house of defense. A house in which anyone who step in there, death and evil will no longer have power over him. And I know you'll be alive to see it completed and you will enter into the ark. In the precious name of Jesus. As spiritually characteristic of God's servant, I've been privileged to be under his tutelage just some few years ago. For anything that must be done, there must be a command from the Lord. In response to someone's question before him, some years back, Brother David, how do you get things done so cheaply? His response was, we do nothing except it is commanded. The command for the building of the ark, which we also call legacy project, was received by a servant in the year 2016. And immediately, as is characteristic also, he declared it to the church. And then the second phase of it. Lord, what time is it? It's not a one man who just received command, but he also waits for what he calls the marching order. Why is this so crucial? Moses received a vision to deliver the children of Israel, and immediately he stepped out. Those of us who are Bible scholars will know what happened. He suffered 40 years of reversal. Not that God did not command him, but he did not follow the right timing. The epistle on time in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 makes it very clear the reason why we must walk by timing. In Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1, the word of God makes it clear to everything, including the ark project, there is a season. Many people miss God's plan, not because God did not speak to them, but because they missed the timing. To everything, there is a season and a time, a time, not just any time, a time to every purpose under the heaven. Why is this necessary? Verse 11 makes it clear. He makes all things beautiful in his time. The beauty of any project is in its timeliness. When the time of a thing comes, everything works. And so, just sometimes, not long ago, God's servant received the clear word, this is the time for the project to start. And ever since then, everything has been falling in place. No offering has been called for, but we've had people come in to say, oh, I must be a part of this project. Because the time for it has come. When the time for Joseph came, the king sent for him. This is the time 
Five years after the command, the marching order just came. And one thing that God has blessed us with as a commission is, once the marching order is in place, sweat is eliminated. Struggle is eliminated. Delay is eliminated. Accuracy and precision takes over. And that is exactly what we are going to have concerning the ark, the legacy project. Everything will work smoothly. Everything will work accurately. Everything will work with precision. Everything will work each free. And you know something? As it is working each free, so it will be working so in your life. As this prophetic groundbreaking is carried out today, I'd like you to be on the lookout. And I'm saying this by the prophetic grace upon his servant, of which I'm privileged to be a partaker, everything will be working smoothly in your life. Yeah. With this project coming up, every project you do from henceforth will be answered with ease. Yeah. Struggle free. Yeah. Hardship free. Yeah. Financial supplies. Yeah. And everything will be working. May I close this way before we receive God's servant? First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32. The reason why this commission has remained in command because is because of the understanding of times. Understanding of time. The children of Ishaka, which were men that had understanding of times. Understanding of time. I'd like you to be on the lookout. This is one grace each of us will receive today. The spirit, the grace for timeliness. Timeliness of action. Timeliness of everything you do. How many of us will receive that? Now rise to your feet. It's time for us to receive the word. The word of God is the foundation. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the heart. And how did he do it? By the word. By the word. By the word. Now somebody speak right now. Ask God to send his word. Not just to us as a commission, but to you as a person. Is somebody praying that prayer? This is the reason why we are here. Make, it, make your prayer very crucial right now. Make it very clear. Make it very loud. God is hearing you. God is answering you. Something is happening to someone. No one is living here without a definite touch. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' wonderful name we are prayed. Shall we joyfully again receive our Father, God's servant, Bishop David Oedipo, as God sends the word to us through him? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, the
Jesus will only build his church. Not my church. Not our church. I will build my church. See, behind the building of this ministry, not structure, behind the building of this ministry, from one phase to another and to another and to another, is the master builder. His name, Jesus. The reason why the gates of hell have not been able to prevail is that no gate of hell can prevail against his church. I will build my church. The gates of hell shall not prevail against you. So it has never come out of my mouth in my life. My church. My. Too heavy. He purchased the church with his own blood. No other blood under heaven can match. It's not forgiven blood. It's sinless blood. Sinless. Every one of us carries our forg we have carries forgiven blood in our veins. But it takes a sinless blood to purchase the church. And none of us have it. Again, I'm saying the reason why principalities and powers and the wickedness of the wicked have not prevailed against this church till date and forever is because it is his church. No devil can stop the way against the advancement, the expansion, the enlargement of his church. And like us one moment, lift up your two hands and give the builder of his church thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Every church you see growing is because they allow the owner to own it. It's because they surrender it to the owner. Give him thanks and praise and glory. We acknowledge you as the builder of this church. You are the multiplier of the congregation. You are the supplier of all that we, ever, we have ever needed. We celebrate you, Jesus. Thank you for doing what you say you will do. Thank you for warding off the gates of hell. And blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Lord Jesus, thank you. And blessed be your name. We acknowledge your work and the operations of your hand. We will never take it lightly. You are the one behind the scene working all the works. We are merely fronting for you. You are the one at work in us. Receive our thanks in the name of Jesus. Let today be a landmark experience in everyone's life. In Jesus' name. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. And please, you may be comfortably seated. Everything matters to God. And everything matters to his agenda in our life. Including names. Including what? His word could not come to, to Abraham or to Abraham until he changed that name to Abraham. His word didn't come to pass in Sarai until he changed that name to Sarah. Names are important to God. When this project was declared, it was called Faith Theater.
unlike my beloved son in the gospel says. God said to me when you ask me a question and I keep mute, it means stay where you are. My silence does not go ahead. Jesus, is it time to embark on this project? Silence. Spoken tongues, silence. Spoken grammar, silence. First year passed, second year passed. We have no financial issue whatsoever, not one. Twenty seventeen, he said to me, Speak no more to me on this matter. Until I speak to you if I have to. <laughs> now don't bring that nonsense to my ears again. Make you nervous. <laughs> Amen. Because every vision is for an appointed time. When you miss the appointed time, you are disappointed. And so, a day came, because he said, I shouldn't speak to him, so I didn't speak to him anymore. But I did one thing. Don't touch the funds assigned to this project. We can't tell when he will speak. And not only that, Start putting so so percentage of our income into that account. We can't tell when we we'll speak. Suddenly so came and came with a sharp rebuke. Was it not you I told that this place is my place of appearance? I didn't send anybody to you. I told you by myself. Now you are carrying the project there. I would not have gone there with you. I heard from God. You mean you will not have gone there with us? It will be a monument that has no value. My eyes open wide. What? They immediately call to me. We have tens of thousands that walk through the gate every Sunday. Not 20, not 30, not 40. That dropped from uh, public transport. How would they have moved to the other side? Now, how would we have preserved the serenity of Covenant University campus? How would the students not have been endangered by a massive movement of vehicles? Is the place? Yes. Clear off faith academic things. So. so. It was a simple command. And so we cleared off um, Faith Academy campus and relocated it. That was nearly four billion. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Because it's never late to be right. It's never late to be right. So we're here. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a tabernacle of rescue after the order of the Ark of Noah. Yeah. To preserve the generation of believers. Isaiah 62, verse 2 and 3. He said, And the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness, and all the kings thy glory. Thou shalt be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall name. Thou shalt also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord, and a royal diadem in the hand of our God. 
which the mouth of the Lord shall name. A new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall name. I named Faith Theater. He named the Ark. not guesswork. We are not trying to play with words. We are following divine directives. And then a big bang. Psalm 78, verse 68 and 69. Psalm 68 and verse 68 and 69. If you have it on the screen, put it there. Psalm 78, please. Verse 68 and 69. But God chose the tribe of Judah, the Mount Zion, which he loved. Mount Zion is a church. And he built his sanctuary like high palaces. Like the earth, which has established forever. So we are in the era of high palaces. That Jesus will meet whenever time he comes. Now, if he comes five years ago, he will meet it. Five years to come. Five hundred years to come, he will meet it. Two thousand years to come, he will meet it. So God will be building high palaces across the nations of the earth that will stand as witnesses of his end time agenda. Can I hear your loudest? Amen. It's not new. It's God unveiling his agenda for the end time. This is the way it works. That's how we got there. Let me step back a bit. When he brought us to this place, and there was no marching order, I said, well, let's keep the land busy and look out for farmers in our church and allocate the land to them. So when we are ready, when he gives a go ahead, we can come back here. And then we go to that convention and he said, the tabernacle shall be dedicated next year, September 18, 1999. On his budget, we have stayed off with it or from it. He did it. Now we are ready. He says it's not ready. So it's just God. He does whatever he wants. No one here will miss God. You will not miss God. We had a meeting in December 1994 and concluded that we are not going to go on foreign mission in 1995, that we are going to conclude some of the hanging projects. And I got to me and said, you are going now. <laughs> then I call you and say, say, we are going now. So who and who we go? One, two, three, four, five. Come over. We lay hands on you. We anoint you, then you are going. <laughs> <laughs> you are going now. now. Uh, awesome God. Our times are in his hand. Our times are absolutely in his hand. I've never seen a refreshing like this in my life in the pursuit of any kingdom agenda. Cool, calm. No rise in temperature. No heat. No tension. From now, everyone present and everyone watching online, wherever you may be in the world, your life goes off tension realm finally today. Every minister of the gospel present here today, every son of the prophet that is here, your ministry goes off the realm of tension forever. Let 
me share this with you and it will help all of us together. Just a glimpse into God's agenda for the end time church. What is God's agenda for the end time church? A glimpse into God's agenda for the end time church. According to Acts chapter 3 verse 20 and 21, heavens must receive Jesus until the time of restitution of all things with the mouth of the Lord has spoken through all his holy prophets. Acts 3 and verse 20 and 21. So there must, God has ordained that there will be a confirmation, a manifestation of everything prophesied about the end time church before he returns. Heaven and earth may pass away, but not a jot of my world will pass away. What is the picture of God's end time church, of the end time church in the heart of God? Number one, the end time church shall be an unstoppable and irresistible church. Say with me, unstoppable. unstoppable. Understand that the church is not just the people of God. The church connotes the individual members also of the church. I will build my church, the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. When I search forth my hand, who shall turn it back? Isaiah chapter 14, verse 27. Daniel chapter 4, verse 35, who can say to him, What doest thou? You can't stop the way against God. The end time church shall be an unstoppable and irresistible church. Satan knows it. It's better we do. It's better we also do. Number two, the end time church shall be an empowered church. Sit down at my right hand I make the enemies their foot too. The Lord shall send the rod of his strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of the enemies. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. So the end time church shall be an em empowered church. Empowered to rule in the midst of our enemies. Empowered to rule in the midst of our enemies. The end time church is ordained to be empowered to rule in the midst of our enemy. It will be clear to every devil the kingdom of God is not in worlds but in power. 1 Corinthians 4 and verse 20. Number three, the end time church shall be a church of innumerable multitudes. Say so it means innumerable multitudes. The end time church shall be cities without walls. Not buildings. Cities without walls. So you will find cities after cities being built by Jesus for his church in the end time. His apostles shall be city builders. And not as the developers, city builders. He shall build my city. That's what he said in Isaiah 45 and verse 13. He shall build my city without money and without price. I have raised them all in righteousness. And we direct all his ways. He shall build my city. He shall let go my captives. Not by price, nor reward. Say the Lord of hosts. We used to be called mushroom churches. We specialize in building batches. Ministries rent houses for life. He shall build my city. So, my God, 
without price, no rewards. He shall build my city. So, churches shall become cities without walls. No matter how big a church, there will still be people outside. And that's how Jesus will make it. Except any policy that can stop the sun and the moon. No authority under heaven can stop heaven's agenda. Every God sent apostles are ordained to be city builders in these end times. Number four, the end time church. Is for yes, a church that attracts the unsaved in their numbers. Zechariah chapter 8 and verse 20 to 23. Ten men shall hold themselves to the skirt of it as a Jew and say, We will go with you. God's hand on you will become magnetic, God's hand on God's people will become so magnetic Amen. that people can resist it. They just fall for it. I will go with you. I know you have not called me, but I will go with you. This coming Sunday, me and you. <laughs> Amen. I must go with you. The word says in Isaiah 44, and um, verse 3 to, to 5, he said, one shall call his name himself after Israel. The other shall so name himself. They, they just want to be hooked onto you. That's how the end time church will be growing. It will be growing by the magnetic attraction of God's people in the church. Let's read Zechariah chapter 8 and verse 20. Zechariah 8 and verse 20 to 23. Thus said the Lord of hosts, it shall yet come to pass that there shall come people and the inhabitant of many cities and the inhabitants of one city shall go to another saying, let us go speedily to pray before the Lord and to seek the Lord of hosts. I will go also. I will. Let's go. Let's go. Verse 22. Yea, many people, what? And strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem. And to pray before the Lord. Now, thus said the Lord of hosts, in those days shall come to pass that ten men shall take hold of out of all languages of the nations, even shall take hold of the scattered wheat as a Jew, saying, We will go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. Come and give the Lord praise. That's how magnetic your life will become. That's how magnetic your life will become. Yeah. We had a very humbling testimony in the old church. There was this Muslim landlord that had a challenged um, tenant. <laughs> he said, when people are coming out of that church, I see everybody just smiling and beaming with joy. Go there, maybe God will help you. That's a Muslim helping to witness. So, Elijah, so, he came, and within three months, his life was changed and transformed. And he found him celebrating bad day. Bad day. That means he has cleared all the money he's owing. You know. <laughs> so the second one had the problem. He said, I sent your neighbor to that church. And something changed. You two go there. So the second one came there. Something turned. The man said, I will go myself. <laughs> Well, it's an elder in our church today. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. That's magnetic visitation. That will be the order of the day in the end time church. 
and you are one of them. I say you are one of them. You may not be able to tell how many people have come to the Lord through you, but you are not speaking to them. They just saw it. They say, ah, God, who is decorating this man with the correct man? I'm going there. They say, don't go there. There's a bad church. I'm going there. That bad church is what I want. I want that bad church. The bad church is doing good thing. I want. Amen. That's why no devil can stop the church from growing. The end time church shall be a church of giants. <laughs> there will be no ordinary person in church. A church of giants. It's, and their nobles shall be of themselves. And their governors shall proceed from the midst of them. For they engage their heart in seeking unto me. Jeremiah 30, verse 19 to 21. A church of giants. Psalm 87, verse 1 to 7. All my springs are in thee. The greatest names in this end time will be domiciled in church. The Lord shall arrive when he shall count the people. This man was born there, and that man was born there. He said, the Almighty himself shall establish her. Who will establish her? So these giants will be rising by the hands of the Almighty God. It's not by power nor by might, but by the hand, hands of the Almighty God. Can't you see it happening now? Can't you see it happening? And giants rising? Amen. And saviors shall come up from Messiah. Saviors does not mean just preaching the gospel. Breadwinners. Rescue agents. Greatest employers of labor. And saviors shall rise from Mount Zion to judge the month of Esau. And the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Obadiah verse 21. Saviors. Breadwinners. Rescue agents. Shall come up on Mount Zion. To judge the month of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. So it's the beginning. What we are seeing now is the beginning. What we are seeing now is the beginning. The end time church is ordained the bad place of giants. What we are seeing now is just but the beginning. Just the beginning. The giant in you will come alive. Amen. The giant in you will come alive. Amen. You know what you call inside? The son of the highest. Amen. You know what his name? He shall be great. And shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord shall give unto him the throne of his father David. So you carry a throne inside. You carry a throne inside of you. Yeah. Now, this will shake the devil. The network of the end time church shall cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. Yeah. It shall be an era of church everywhere. Yeah. It shall be what? Yeah. An era of church everywhere. An era of church everywhere. You turn on the right church, on the left church, in front church, behind church. You'll be hearing praise the Lord everywhere. The end, look, except a decree that can drain the drain water out of the sea. No edict of man. Or governmental agency can stop it. <laughs> Otherwise, how did we see Jesus build 10,404 churches in a lockdown year? And no policy can stop it. No. No. So every door, every nation is shut down. It's a moment. The eruption 
Can you shut the door against earthquake? You build gate. It will approve the gate. As the waters cover the sea, all the tankers in Lagos State, Ogun State, Oso State, Southwest, South, South, Southeast, can't drain the ocean. As they pump, it comes back. It comes back and comes back and comes back. That's the end time agenda. It shall be an era of church everywhere. Yeah. Yet, there shall be high palatial churches. Yeah. All moving at the same time. Church everywhere. The end time church shall command undeniable global influence. Come and say global influence. Micah chapter 4 and verse 1 and 2. It shall come to pass in the last days that the house of the mountain of the Lord shall be established on the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and people shall flow into it. Now watch. And many nations shall come and say, come, let's put pride aside. Let's go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways. Global influence. Nations will doff their cap. We doff their cap for cancel from church. Global influence. They will look for men and women in the church to come help solve their problems. Global influence, that is God's agenda. It shall come to pass in the last days. Not it may come to pass. It shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established on top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all people shall flow into it. And many nations, come and say many nations. Many. The end time church shall be a church of global influence. We won't need to announce to anybody. They'll be looking for us. They will see us having the answer. They will see us doing it sweatlessly. They will wonder why it's happening when nothing is happening around. They will keep wondering what's going on here. Praise God. I'm sure you know they are wondering in Nigeria. What's going on now? Thank you, Jesus. Remember I said, you are the light of the world. We are walking to the fullness of that agenda. Yeah. The church shall become a beacon of light yeah. to nations. Yeah. To nations. Yeah. To nations. Yeah. To nations. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, please pick this up. The end time church is ordained to command supernatural wealth. Come and say, command supernatural wealth. <laughs> say it loud. Before God was going to command the building of the tabernacle, he already transferred the wealth of Egypt to his people. Oh, that's Maggi Banana. How can you tell them to bring gold? Have they ever seen gold in their life? He first lavished gold on them. They said, if anyone is willing, let him give. And everyone that offered, offered an offering of gold. He first gave them the gold before he called for it. The end time to command starts to pend us wealth that will humble the proud world. Righteous wealth. Not stolen wealth. Covenant wealth. Durable riches. With righteousness. Durable riches with righteousness. You know, God is unveiling the manifold wisdom of heaven in these last days. And you know, wealth is a companion of wisdom. Wealth is what? 
Natural wisdom begets natural wealth. Heavenly wisdom, biblical wisdom, ushers believers into the realm of supernatural wealth. My ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Someone wrote and said, Wealth is the product of man's capacity to think. Wealth is a product of man's capacity to think. Natural realm of wealth. That's where it stops. But when you engage biblical wisdom, you naturally command supernatural wealth. You command what? Supernatural wealth. The end time church will be in command of supernatural wealth. That we turn her to breadwinner of nations. Praise God. Hallelujah. Why? This gospel of the kingdom shall appear among all nations, then shall the end come. And through prosperity shall my house be spread abroad. Zechariah 117, Matthew 24, verse 14. This massive spread of the kingdom will require massive resources that God is eager to entrust to his people that can be trusted. Amen. Wealth in the kingdom is not achieved, it's entrusted. If you have not been faithful in your righteous man, you shall come into your trust, the true riches. We are just about entering the realm of true riches. May no one here be left behind. We are just about entering the realm of true riches. May no one here be left behind. We are just about entering the realm of true riches. May no one here be left behind. We are just about entering the realm of true riches. David said, because of my affection for the Lord, I've given up my own private treasure. First Chronicles 29 and verse 3. God will be loading treasures into the life of his lovers in this end time. God has never seen before. May you never be left out. May you never be left out. He said, who then will follow my example? Who will give himself and all that he has to the Lord? David had it before he could give it. God is going to load his lovers this end time with such dimension of wealth that the world has never known. I'm sure you'll be glad to know there's not one dime from any of our missions on the foreign field in this project. There is no letter written to anyone or telephone call made to anyone. We are just entering the realm that God is talking about. Watch out. With genuine love for God, there is no level of thing He cannot entrust in your hand. You are going places. You are going places. And finally, the end time church shall be a church without spot or wrinkle. A church living ready for the rapture. A church what? <laughs> the world is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Amen. Who we are. But Jesus. In Romans 1 4, the Bible said, He declared. Jesus to be the son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. So there's going to be an outpouring of the spirit of holiness. People we hate sin with passion. Righteousness will become the new identity of believers. Not appropriated righteousness. He that doeth righteousness is righteous. No, whatever you do, it doesn't matter. You are, you are right. Mm. Even the court of law knows when you are wrong. How much more the court of God? Beware of all this flying stuff. Know ye not that the angels shall not make heaven? Don't be deceived. Then he made a list. To know, so that it's no assumption. He made a long list 
of those that should not think they will make heaven. There is going to be an outpouring of the spirit of holiness in these last days. People will just walk in the fear of God naturally. All the junk of malice, of backbiting, of hatred, of bitterness will be no more. All sins of the flesh and of the spirit will find their way out. All prophesying and lies will go away. All crave after money in the name of ministry will disappear. Ephesians 5, 25 to 27. Husbands, love your wife even as Christ loved the church and gave himself to her. And verse 26, that it might sanctify and cleanse her. Cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. And 27, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any sort of thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. That is the rapturable church. That is the rapturable believer. And it's made his spirit available to make that a cheap possibility. Therefore, no one today under the sound of my voice will miss his way to heaven. Yeah. Yes, we're having very grand deal time here, but you will not miss your way to heaven. Yeah. There is nothing we build here that compares with what he has built out there. Streets of gold. You see how golden where you are sitting down there? <laughs> Foundation of those buildings of costly piers. Everything golden. Everything glassily golden. Don't miss it. And we're not going to be there for 120 years. We'll be there for eternity. No one here shall miss it. Yeah. The ultimate of what we are doing now is heaven. What's the ultimate? Yeah. What we are doing now is to give us our rewards in terms of our crowns and the stars on our crowns when we get to heaven. But that's our home. That's our resting place. You will not miss it. Yeah. As you step out of here, you will hate sin with passion. Yeah. You will draw away from men and women of sin. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Well, welcome to the ark. Yeah. Nothing that destroys others will ever come near you. Yeah. Nothing that consumes others will ever come near you and your household. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, please stand. Stand to your feet, everybody. Lift up your two hands, everybody, and give God thanks if you can. In Jesus, precious name we have prayed. Now, this grand breaking um, ministration is a spiritual handing over yes. of the project to the builder. A number of us were here when we dedicated Covenant University we dance our kind of madness dance from the gate to the runabout and back and sweating. And the Lord said, hand it over to me now. I said, how, Jesus? He said, lay down here before me and I will take over. Jesus took over Covenant University 21 October 2002. And he has never dropped it since that time. 
as we hand this over to the master builder, the contractor will enjoy unusual speed. There shall be no injuries on this side. Death shall not be recorded here. There shall be no equipment failure. Yeah. The cranes will not drop. Yeah. No one walking here will ever slump. Yeah. Yes. Everyone that sees today, whether you are here on ground or online, anywhere in the world, you'll be alive in your new status when we are dedicating it. When I saw the building, it makes Faith Tabernacle like boys quarters. <laughs> Amen. And interestingly, Faith Tabernacle is linked as overflow. <laughs> Amen. By heaven design, without our premonition, we don't know it. Just like a dream of the night. You won't miss God's instructions. Yeah. You'll never miss God's corrections. Yeah. You'll never miss your steps walking with God. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. So as we hand over that, this project to God, we're handing over your life to God. Yeah. No agent of the devil will assault your life. Yeah. And all that pertains to you yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. We are going to pray for our team, the contractors team, and the consultants uh, right there on site as we do what we normally do and knock the ground and say, Take over. Jesus, take over. You are the master builder, take over. You know how best to do it, take over. You know how to help all the ones that are there, take over. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Can we have the team that's going out to go so that we can come? Hallelujah. Give the Lord the biggest clap of him. Well, you know the good news? We are in the golden age of the church. It must reflect in your life. We are in the decorative age of the church. It must show in your life. In Jesus' precious name. In Jesus' precious name. In Jesus' precious name. There is no way all of us can be there, so we will just represent a number of people. Uh, if you can't get there, don't bother. We'll be out there for just about 10 minutes and do what we need to do and come back to dance, and then we can close. Can I hear your email? Is the, eh? It will be showing on the screen, yes. So, but all ministers that are here, we all go out. Amen. And anyone who can find space there, in the name of Jesus. Now, let's have the team praise and go. Where are they? They've gone out. Come and stay inside, my friend. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Many have not imagined building a house. God will build you one this year. Some ministries present here perhaps are believing God for their own building. You're being part of this today. Deliver the building of that church to you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You are my velos 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 You 
are marvelous, you are marvelous, you are marvelous, you are marvelous, you are marvelous, you are the Lord. All that foundation can no man lay than that which is laid, which is Christ Jesus. Is the foundation of all things. This ark project is expanded and we are by this groundbreaking mystery we are handing this over to him. Amen. For speed, Amen. for accuracy, Amen. for safety. Amen. For speed, Amen. for accuracy, Amen. and for safety. Amen. There shall be no mishap all through this construction. This shall enjoy divine speed. Amen. There shall be no breakdown. Amen. All movement of equipment within and outside the site is declared safe. Amen. All movement of materials from within and outside is declared safe. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Now, before the Most High God, most of the saints gathered here, representing Jesus, the Master Builder, Oh, 
Holy Ghost. This foundation is today laid for speedy, accurate, and safe delivery. For heat free construction, Amen. for unstoppable supplies, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And so shall it be Amen. in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. In the name of the Father. The Son and the Holy Ghost. Amen. This is set today. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. One more time, give the Lord a big hand of praise. Hallelujah. Ground is anointed today. For help from above. Amen. For all the men of this site. Amen. The contractors. Amen. The consultants. Amen. The clients. Amen. No breakdown. Amen. No confusion. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Of God the Father, Amen. the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. This ground is anointed Amen. to deliver as it bears Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Give the Lord the biggest clap. Choir, start your Hallelujah. Uh, to the Lord right now. You are marvelous, yes. You are marvelous, 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 To be praised, you're the miracle in my life today, but I love God. But I love God, but I'm not willing to be praised. You're the miracle in our lives today, today, today. Praise, you're the 
good in our lives. Today, 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 somebody celebrate Jesus. You are the reason. You are everything. We give you all the glory, Jehovah.
Thank you, Jesus. Let's get seated. And one more time, a big hand for Jesus, the foundation and the builder of his church. Amen. Will you turn to your right, your left, congratulate your neighbor for this wonderful prophetic groundbreaking event. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. The ground has been broken. Now we are going to be receiving the blessing of the Lord upon the construction team so that the Spirit of God can come upon them as he came on Bezali and his team for the building of the tabernacle of the Lord. Quickly, I want to request that our construction, in-house construction team with the principal officers and the consultants to please quickly find their way to the altar here so that the same spirit that received the vision is going to come upon them for the implementation. The contractors should wait uh, as you'll be attended to later. First, our in-house construction team and principal officers, and of course, all the consultants for this project. Will you please come closer this way? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Well, your eyes have seen the beginning. You'll be alive and well in your new status at the end. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your eyes have seen the takeoff. You will see the completion. Everyone, please help me stretch forth your hands in this direction and proclaim the hand of God upon these precious souls. Proclaim the blessings of the Lord, the hand of God upon them. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. This project shall deliver in your hands. It shall not fail. No one among you shall be an obstacle to the progress and delivery of this project. All that you require to perform is released upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be Amen. in Jesus' precious name. Amen. I decree health and vitality. Amen. There shall be no physical breakdown, Amen. no emotional breakdown, Amen. no spiritual breakdown. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I decree peace upon your life, Amen. upon your family, Amen. and all that to lay your hands upon to do. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. there shall be no accident in your coming in and going out. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. And so shall it be. Amen. You are on this project that perhaps none of you have seen before. Now, the kind of blessings you have never seen before begins to trail you from now. Amen. Stand to your feet and receive laying on of hands. Thank you, Father. And Joshua was filled with the spirit of wisdom because Moses had laid his hands on him. In the name of Jesus, as I lay hands on you, be filled with the spirit of wisdom. Be filled with the spirit of wisdom. Be filled with the spirit of wisdom. You and the team that work with you, in the name of Jesus, be filled with the spirit of wisdom. In Jesus' precious name. 
Well, let me just introduce my son here, the tallest man in town. He's the one that God used to design this project. Amen. Himself and his team. Amen. It's the beginning. God is just starting with you. In the name of Jesus. My word for you is, don't see it as just an assignment. See it as a calling. And be damn faithful. Down to earth faithful. Ask unto the Lord and not unto man. And God who sees your input in secret, it would never cease to reward you openly. Congratulations. 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 And congratulations. Give the Lord a big hand for them. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please let's, uh, the, let's call the contractors. The contractor and his um, officers, officials, to quickly march to the altar here. Please give Jesus a big hand as we receive them. Don't need and just stand up, stand up, stand up. Remove your cup. <laughs> the net is not falling down. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We are praying for you for speedy delivery, Amen. quality delivery, Amen. and safety. There shall be no accident. Amen. There shall be no equipment failure. Amen. No one shall fall off from the screen. Amen. You will enjoy speed. Amen. You will not receive bad news. Amen. None of you will receive emergency calls from home. Amen. Your families that are behind wherever you came in from shall be kept safe. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God is up to anything he says. So we decree now. Speed beyond what is agreed upon. Amen. So as to know that God is the one at work. Amen. Bow your heads. Father. Everybody stretch forth your hands here. That's okay. Stretch forth your hands please. I release. Blessings upon this team. Release blessings upon them. Pray over them right now for unusual grace to come upon them. Unusual grace to come upon them. Unusual grace to come upon them. Pray against all forms of distractions. Pray for focus. Pray for concentration. Pray for diligence and sacrifice that will enhance the speed of delivery of this project in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, honor the word that is spoken and let this team enjoy a heat free construction season. Let there be no distractions. Keep their family saved. Keep their children faith saved. Watch over the affairs of their lives. Amen. Let there be no emotional breakdown. Amen. Let there be no physical breakdown. Amen. And let there be no accident all the way. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. None of you shall suffer any assault. Amen. Robbers will not stand on your way. 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. You will know you have walked in the vineyard of the Lord. Amen. It will show in every area of your life. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. 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 God bless you. Give the Lord a big hand for this team. Please get back on your seat as you receive your handshake in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Give him praise, everybody. Amen. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. Praise the Lord. You can make it louder. Praise the Lord. Shortly before we are closing this prophetic groundbreaking service, we'd like to quickly acknowledge the presence of a number of our ministers of the gospel, both within the commission and sons of the prophets who, as usual, have come to identify with their prophet and tapping into the grace at work in this place. Leading our various states represented here, are our state pastors, we'd like to welcome all of you and acknowledge you. Please give Jesus a big hand on their behalf. And several other pastors, largely all of them from Ogun State and Abiokuta State. You are all welcome. <laughs> Ogun State and Lagos State, please. You know, we are from Ariwa, so please bear with us. Amen. But we didn't come here with bandits anyway. <laughs> God is a good God. From the mission head office, where God is helping us to carefully follow the pursuit of the vision as delivered to God's servant, my humble self, our vice president, mission inspectorate services, Bishop Thomas Aramon, our vice president foreign mission, our executive secretary, and our entire team. Uh, we have also come here to represent the entire church network and our mission operations in the foreign mission. At this moment also, we acknowledge the presence, as I mentioned earlier, the sons of the prophet, a number of them quite close to the altar. So in case your name is not mentioned, maybe you are somewhere rejoicing in the Lord. But quickly, uh, from my right, we have our dearly beloved Reverend Olubio, you're welcome. <laughs> Reverend Drew Aina, you're welcome. We have Pastor Paul Enenche and his wife. Pastor David Dibiome and his wife, you are welcome. And then, of course, we have Bishop 
Daniel Onoha, you are welcome from Port Harcourt. And uh, Pastor Koride Komaya, you are welcome. If you are somewhere else, your name is not mentioned, you may as well wave your hand and give glory to God. We appreciate your coming, and God bless you. Now, as we are hearing the voice of the prophet, we want to also hear the voice of the sons of the prophet. So quickly, in a brief remark, I shall be calling on Pastor David Biome for his short remark. Amen. Please, come up. Give God a big hand. Hallelujah. Who you follow determines what follows you. Every time you are able to observe a father, you are bound to go further. We have only come to observe, come to see, and partake. God bless every one of us. I'm sure we'll all go further from here. We'll be glad also to receive a brief remark from Pastor Paul Enenche. Please. Hallelujah. We want to thank the Lord for the privilege of having a father who is a frontliner and a road pointer and a trailblazer and a pace setter. We know what to do because we see what he does. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Wave your hand and give thanks to God for this beautiful moment and this wonderful time we have enjoyed in God's presence. He's worthy of our praise. Well, the remarks are extended. We'd like to also invite uh, Reverend Olubio to make his short remarks. A big hand for the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. What a joy to be part of this great, great, great epoch event. I'm so excited that I'm seeing it happening in my own lifetime. And I'm glad that we are part of the beginning and we shall be part of the finishing of this act in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, sir, for leading the way and showing us the way. We are blessed following you. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is evangelistic remark. <laughs> Amen. I was almost asking that you make altar call. <laughs> Amen. Now, let's receive um, Pastor Duruaina as well for his own remark. God bless you. If that hand is for Jesus, make it louder, please. Praise the Lord. Uh, we thank God for the privilege of uh, having an example in our Father. Thank you so much for showing us the way. We thank you for your life. Thank you for tutoring us. And we promise that we will not fail in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, sir. Let's put our hands together for Jesus as we celebrate it. To God alone be the glory forever in the name of Jesus. You'd like to rise to your feet, please. Appreciate Jesus again. If you can, with a wave of your hand, it deserves all the glory, all the praise, all the honor. Thank you, Father, in Jesus precious name we have given thanks. Joyfully join me again as we receive God's servant, our father, Bishop David Oedepo, as he closes this service. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Lift up those two hands to heaven, everyone, and give God thanks for his manifest presence all through this event. Thank him for the spirit of joy that pervaded the entire atmosphere. Give him glory and praise. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Saul found himself in the midst of the prophets 
and he began to prophesy. Every grace that operates on this ministry and on this commission follows you home today. For everyone watching and connecting to this prophetic service online, every manifestation of the end time at pouring of grace upon this commission comes upon your life today. We have never known a setback as a commission. You never know a setback again. Every passing year shall be more awesome than the previous. We have not faked it. It will be 40 years of May. You never fake your work with God. We have never played pranks. You can't be telling the truth and not know. And you can't be lying and not know. We have never begged. 40 years is over. Now, by being part of this, either on ground or online, this order of grace follows you and your family today. We are here today experiencing God's end time wealth agenda by following biblical wisdom. Now, in the name of Jesus, grace to follow biblical wisdom in your finances. Sound biblical discretion. Sound financial discipline. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Let me spare you of the cost of this building. Just to say it's multi-billion. But that without any harassment on anyone or private struggle in the leadership. Now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, for you and the works of your hand, struggle is over finally. <laughs> Struggle is over finally. My desire is to see people flow in the realm of grace beyond what I know. Beyond. I've shared this over and over again. I don't pray with the tip of my tongues. I pray from my heart. May this desire find answer in your life. Therefore, grace to follow. Receive in the name of Jesus. I had a word from A.W. Tozer in 1977 in his book, The Pursuit of God. Just a quote of scriptures. Psalm 63, verse 8. My soul followed hard after thee, O God, and thy right hand upholded me. The Holy Ghost said to me the same day, he said, the harder you follow me, the higher you fly. The harder you follow me, the higher you fly. The harder you follow me, the higher you fly. The harder you follow me, the higher you fly. The harder you follow me, the higher you fly. Grace to follow her. You know, we follow her to be here. Coming to Canaan land is not an easy following. It was complete jungle. It was a dreaded land. Arm robbers who stand on that road in the afternoon and open their chairs. 
no mask. Stop. And God said, that's where you have to go. And no church in town. What an order. See how grace found expression by following her. Bless the soul of A.W. Tozer. I never met him. The harder you follow me, the higher you fly. Woe to them that is in Zion. I do it when I'm okay. I have my time. You know, I'm a professional. I'm a consultant. Consultant pediatrist. Consultant gynae. Oh, you don't know the meaning? We need some time. You can't jump about like Papa. Papa is an evangelist. I'm a consultant. The harder you follow me, the higher you fly. Grace to be a heart follower. So you can go higher. Receive it now. I told the team of our people, I say, hey, now we are that we are all at the same level, understand what I'm saying? Because the time is coming when some of us will take off in the air and we start more money. We don't even know what they are using. I said, let me tell you what I'm using. I'm sold out to God. 1984, October 3. 1984. I knew that those who are sold out to God will stand out in life. Now, grace to be sold out to God. In truth and in deed, not fabricating it, not pretending it. Grace to be genuinely sold out to God. That whatever God says is final, no matter what you are thinking before. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Sir, a time is coming. Someone will take off in the air. My beat was parked outside. A number of them passed their 504 outside. You know the guy between B2 and 504? <laughs> they don't do B2 again. You, you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, man. The engines are at the back. Seriously. If a trailer is coming and you're on the slow, you have to slow down. Because the wind of the trailer can throw the B2 away. But the time is coming. Now, can I tell you this? Grace to be sold out and not just be a docile member of a church. Grace to be actively in partnership with Jesus as a way of life. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Well, as this building goes up, your life goes up. As this building rises, you are rising. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For everyone who has come from far and near, return back safely. Everyone from town, get back home safely. And may the joy of today last your lifetime. That I saw it. I saw it when it was done. I saw it when it was done. May the joy of it last for your lifetime. In the name of Jesus. I love you all. And I'm waiting eagerly to see God manifesting himself in higher dimensions in everyone's life. In the name of Jesus. Please worship him in a song and then we will close. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Glory to the Lamb of God. Amen. Somebody excited, shout a loud hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now let's praise Him. Glory of the King. You alone deserve the glory. You alone deserve the praise, Almighty God. You alone deserve the glory. You alone deserve the praise. Come on, celebrate him. You alone deserve the glory. 
attended this foundation, I mean this groundbreaking event together joyfully as a family. We'll be sharing the goodness of the Lord and thereafter the choir will continue with their singing and as many as want to wait to dance, why not? You do that while God's servant and the team of pastors will file out. Together joyfully let's do that right now. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Welcome to 2021, your year of supernatural turn around. And it shall be so for you. And all of us shall say amen and amen. God bless you. Shake hands with your neighbors as you go. Keep dancing. If you want to, keep singing choir. Lord, you are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Hey, you are good and your mercy is forever.